Hi, family and friends. So, many of you have been watching my new video blog, and if you have, you know that I am here in New Orleans, and that I've been doing lots of silly things, like working at Cafe Du Monde and caffeinating the elderly, um, riding across the causeway every day, singing along to Adele, um, making pasta, um, and basically having a really great summer. Um, but in today's video blog, I want to talk about something more serious, which is the work that I'm going to be doing next year with an organization called Avoda. Um, I've been charged this summer before I start my work with them um, to have a fundraising campaign. So I'm going to tell you off the bat, I'm here today to try to get your money. But please stick with me, don't stop watching, um, because I think after you hear about Avoda, um, you might actually feel engaged enough to make a donation, or if not that, if that's not something you're able to do, then at least send this video to someone else who might be able to make a donation or refer them to my fundraising website. Avodah is the Hebrew word for work, so as you might guess, it is a Jewish organization um, similar to AmeriCorps in that it brings young people together to work for social justice causes. For the past 10 years, Avoda has been placing young Jewish people with anti-poverty organizations, paying them a small stipend, and providing housing. While I was in college, theater sort of became my religion. This might sound weird to some of you and make a lot of sense to others of you who actually participate in theater. I was spending all of my time working on shows with this sort of spiritual level of devotion and the more I did it, the more I started to question who gets to be included in this community and who is it really serving. And I'm excited now to return to being a member of a Jewish community, not just a theater community, that's committed to social justice on a local and national level. Core members will be located in New York City, in Chicago, in Washington, D.C., and finally in New Orleans, which is where I'm going to be working. New Orleans is the newest addition to Avoda. This is actually the first year that Avoda will have a site in New Orleans, and I'm really excited to be participating in that. So one of the things I'm most excited about for next year is the community that I'm going to be living with. I'm going to be in a house with nine other people who are all working at anti-poverty organizations in New Orleans and throughout the year we're going to have the chance to visit each other's placements, to learn about what we're all doing, and to make connections between the organizations that we're working for. Ariana is going to be working with New Orleans Outreach, a group that works to improve the quality of public education by linking volunteers and other community resources with staff and students through programs that respond to the particular needs of each school. Aura's placement is with Resurrection After Exoneration, where she will be helping exonerees with housing needs, health and medical care, education, work training, financial planning, life skills, and legal matters. Meredith is going to be at Rebuilding Together New Orleans, where she will help homeowners receive assistance in order to finally get their homes rebuilt. Rebecca will be at the Greater New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center, helping them in their efforts to eradicate housing discrimination by identifying opportunities for the inclusion of fair housing perspective in the rebuilding process and recovery programs. Liza is going to serve as a client welfare specialist at the Orleans Public Defenders, where they are committed to a client-centered representation that respects the humanity and dignity of those accused of crime. David is going to be at the Lower Ninth Ward Center for Sustainable Engagement and Development, where he will work directly with neighborhood residents on the recovery and development of the Lower Ninth Ward with a focus on sustainability. Jenna is going to serve as the Community Coordinator at the Tulane Community Health Center, which was established in the days following Hurricane Katrina to provide continuous, high-quality, holistic, and accessible community-centric care. And finally, ACORN, the nation's largest community organization of low- and moderate-income families working together for social justice in stronger communities, where I'll be working next year, receiving extensive training in community organizing, 
before working with leaders from a targeted low to moderate income neighborhood to develop a campaign that promotes civic engagement and fights for improved public services and policy. Okay, so here's where you come in. If you make a donation to Abu Dhabi, you won't just be supporting me. You'll be supporting 60 core members working to make a long-term contribution in four cities. It's really easy to give. You can just go to my fundraising webpage, www.firstgiving.com slash acorn into a tree.